The views and opinions expressed in this content are that of a continuously evolving nature and are subject to change as humanity evolves into higher states of awareness. Afternoon everybody, just Lee here again and uh, in this video I want to talk about how clever this simulation is, okay? Because, let's face it, some people think that this is not some kind of intelligent design or simulation and uh, I don't necessarily agree with people who believe it isn't because the more you expand your consciousness the more you see the magic magical properties of this reality and how everything's working in ways which are unbelievably complex yet unbe unbelievably clever at the same time this reality is genius okay let's take for instance um an led tv 65 inch beautiful uh, Samsung LED TV that looks beautiful. It's literally magic in front of your eyes, okay? For this to be created out of the earth elements uh, is too good to be just by chance, okay? Some people think that this isn't intelligent design. Um, I don't know why, because if it isn't, how would it be possible to create that, okay? In my eyes, this physical reality matter has to have been designed in a way where it can be used to create anything our imaginations can create okay and then um, yes we are a byproduct of this creation ourselves so maybe we can only create uh, what this creation is made out of okay so maybe it's LED TVs all these wonderful machinery like cars all this amazing technology, the internet, cameras, smartphones, um, might just be a byproduct of our own consciousness based on the elements on this earth period, okay? So this might be a very, very, very small fraction of what's possible within the universe. And anybody who's took psychedelics will probably tell you this. They've seen colors and things that they can't explain. But the reason they can't explain it is because it doesn't fall in line with our vibrational frequency of this consciousness uh, level that we're on at the moment. Um, but the level that we're on at the moment is absolutely genius in itself. Okay, so for something, for all this technology to be created out of the ground, there has to be some kind of intelligent design. Now, whether or not what's created this or who or whether it's a, a, a force that we can't comprehend, what they might have done is they might have created a bunch of elements or properties um, and design um, parameters to do all this on a self-grown program. And then they've literally put all this stuff together, press play, which could have been the Big Bang, and then it's created all this um, just as a self-grown kind of simulation. And we're just a byproduct of that. Uh, that's one theory, okay? There's many theories of this, um, but to me, I think there's many, many different realities. And uh, I think as we evolve and expand our consciousness, the more we see, okay, the more we see, and the more we see, and the more we know, the more responsibility we've got to help those who haven't seen and don't know. So it's all like a constant learning process. Um, and this reality alone is probably a little bit like a school because all we ever do is evolve, okay? You can never devolve. Once you've learned something and evolved, you kind of go back to that original state. Like I've transcended quite a few things throughout my lifetime um, just by learning things and going through bad experiences. Um, and some of the things I've evolved, I find it very hard to... Uh, to deal with okay like for instance music I can't listen to music anymore to me it's just a vibrational frequency of noise and every time I go back to try and enjoy music again it doesn't resonate on my frequency so I literally cannot enjoy music anymore now at first I thought this was a bad thing but then when I really thought about it I saw that something else had replaced it in its in its place okay so now I don't necessarily need to listen to music to bring us joy I can do other things in my imagination or I can go and explore places and um, so whenever one thing is gone another thing comes and when we evolve there's like literally it never ends okay 
anybody who's on a journey, which would probably be you guys, who's expanding your consciousness, it never ends. As soon as you've learned one thing, something else will reveal itself. And it's magical because you, you see more and more of reality as you do this, and it becomes more and more like mind-blowing what you see, okay? I've took cannabis quite a few times and that relaxes your mind or stay where you see more than you would without it. And some of the things you see, how everything's connected is unbelievable because everything's connected. And I think we all separate uh, souls and we all one at the same time. So we like one soul within a monad of souls. And I think that monads uh, might be within another monad within another one and it's just infinite monads uh, for instance we we have like um, kind of fish tanks with little fish in in their own little world in this fish tank and they have no knowledge of our world we could be just be that to another world another world and we could be a tiny proportion of the frequency what's possible here and um, I've had this experience once or twice and maybe some of you have where you experience the oneness okay there was one time in a near-death experience where I just shut out my body and I saw uh, I saw the universe, I saw multiple galaxies all just flying away from us and um, in the end I saw around about seven, seven different universes and I understood everything. It's as if I was everything in existence all at the same time and this was a very overwhelming experience for me and it, and it just felt unbelievably amazing. Um, I just was everything. So maybe we are all everything and we're just all everything at the same time because apparently there's no time. Apparently everything is all happening simultaneously, okay? And uh, there's only one other person who I've spoke to who's seen what I've seen and she did an interview on Gaia the other, the other year. Um, I think it was on Beyond Belief. I've forgotten her name now, but she saw these seven universes and what she described it as was a, a, a DNA spiral, okay? These are seven parts of a DNA spiral that's constantly evolving. So we could be just the equivalent of a, a little flea on a dog, okay? We could just be a little tiny bit of consciousness on a multiple DNA spiral that's constantly evolving and that could be in another one and another one and another one. So this reality is extremely complex. Um, it's too clever to just be by chance guys like it's too clever so let us know what you think of that guys um, if you think this is uh, all happening by chance and we, we it's not intelligent design it's not a matrix it's not a projection of our consciousness it's just all by chance and it's all natural then let us know if you think it is a simulation or a, um, some kind of holographic simulation of our consciousness which is what a lot of people think it is uh, let us know as well so leave your comments guys and please like this video and i'll see you guys next time